Yudbet on Beitza, Daf Lamed Hey and Lamed Sab. Uh, the Mishnah on Lamed Hey and the Beis. Ashilim Peiros Derech Haruba Biyamto Avalo B'Shakos. This is the first one placed on a roof, and now people fear fear that it's going to rain. So Ashilim Peiros Derech Haruba is they may let lower fruits by a skylight on Yamto, but not on Shabbos. The Chassan of Peiros Bechelim is they have that left. Um, and uh, we may cover the fruits with kalim, that means vessels or clothing, uh, because of dripping water. The chinim kade yayim the kade shemen. And so too, pictures of wine and pictures of water, uh, if you remember. The nosen kli tacha fadel of the Shabbos. We can place a uh, vessel under dripping water on Shabbos. Um, now on to Lamed Fav, uh, the Gemara, Lamed Fav of uh, So, uh, the Mishnah had said, Mashilim Peres Derech Haruba, that they may lower fruits by a skylight. So, Amr of Nachman, Lo Shav Elo Be'oso Hagag. They only said this uh, by the same roof. About the Gagwa Gagwa, but from one roof to another, no. Uh, Tana, uh, Tana Tlach. Well, yes, you can be gaggle gag. You may not remove it from one roof to another. Even if their uh, even if their roofs are, uh, are are on the same level, Tana and Tana taught. Well, you shall shulein bechavel bechalonos. Well, you shall redeem the shulamos. He should not lower them with a rope through windows, nor should he lower them by a ladder. And this is said on the Hassan of the Peros, and he may cover the fruits, etc. So, Amarula, Afilu, Avira, the Lizzie. Even rows of bricks uh, may be covered. Rabbi Yitzchak Amar, Peros Haruian, only fruits which are suitable, suitable to be used on the own self. That's my focus, Ula and Rabbi Yitzchak. And Rabbi Yitzchak is consistent in his opinion. Dhamma Rabbi Yitzchak, in Kli, Nika O Dhamma Hanikul Vishakas. A vessel is not permitted to be moved um, unless it's for the purpose of another vessel which that other vessel is uh, permitted to be used on Shabbos. Here, you're, you could move a vessel in order to protect uh, fruits which can be used on Yom Tov, but you can't, uh, you can't use, use it to protect the row of bricks which don't have a use on Yom Tov. Ukvarab Yiran of Masech HaShabbos, Sein Halacha to Rabbi Yitzchak. And we already um, explained in Shabbos, in Masech HaShabbos, that the Halacha is not like Rabbi Yitzchak, so we have to like Ula here. Um, and the Mishnah continued, the Nosen Kli Zach HaFadel of Shabbos, and they may place a vessel under the drip of water on Shabbos. Tana, a Tana taught, the Imni smells is Mali Hatanakli, and if the vessel gets filled up, Shokas Vashon of Eon Imna. Um, he may pour it out, uh, pour it in a vessel full of water, and repeat, and not hold back, he can keep on bringing that vessel back and uh, letting it fill with this drip. Uh, moving on to Lamed Vav Amit Beis. Beirech Ed Abaye Dabus. The mill house of Abaye was dripping with water, and that was endangering the millstones. Also, he came to Rabbah. So he came before his Rebbe, he came before Rabbah and asked him what to do. Amr lay, and Rabbah said to him, Zil Ayla Lupuriyach. Uh, go bring your bed there. Uh, because a bed is not really good in proximity to a milkstone. So you should bring your bed there. Uh, so that, uh, those milkstones will be, will have the status of a vessel used for excrement. And a vessel used for ex- excrement can be taken out, so therefore you'll be able to take out the milkstones from there and they won't get ruined. So Amar Leh, he said to him, so according to this version of the riff, it's Abaye replying to, um, to Rabba. And the dear sin, our Gemara is actually that he staffed and had a kasha about this, and he didn't back on this immediately. Uh, but Amar Leh, he said to him, the uh, Chilosin, Derek Shelvil, Chachila, do you initially make something into a condition equal to a vessel used for accident? Um, so, Atachi uh, Bahachi, while he was uh, in the meantime, basically, Rafael Beresh had Abaye. Abaye's millstone collapsed. So, Amr takes you the Avri Adamar. This came upon me because I violated that which Master, that which Rafa said. Um, so, now, Amr Shmuel, Derek Shelby, Avich, you only may reply in. A vessel used for excrement and a vessel used for, uh, for urine. With their love, Zian Lashfa, it's permitted to bring them out to the trash heap. Um, uh, to get rid of them, uh, to get rid of the contents. 
Tani Nami Achi, a bright source of Nesso. The actual leave I've been showing here at Bayan, a vessel used through excrement and a vessel used through urine, which are let's say on the Ashba. It's permitted to bring them out to the dung heap, to the trash heap. The Pshu Masiro, and when he brings the vessel back, most of them go Mayim Masiro. The places within the water, when he brings it back. Uh, the very uh, of mana, uh, and just like it's permitted to take this excrement out via its vessel, uh, it's also permitted to take it out by itself. You would have thought not. Um, so the, the, we're told here that it is permitted. Uh, because there was a mouth that was found in the spice room of Ravashi. Uh, the armor was when he said to them, uh, He said to them, take it out by its tail. Take it by its tail and take it out. So you see this wasn't uh, in a vessel, but it was the uh, disgusting thing itself. The woman by the young of the Shari was out today. Um, and it need not be said that on Yom Tov it's permitted to take it out. Uh, it's even permitted to do this on Shabbos. Uh, like we learned in that Tarek. Halacha, uh, this is in Shabbos. Um, the 121b. Um, uh, halacha, we learned that Halacha kofin karal gabe ner mechulei. That uh, it's permitted that you may overturn a plate. The halacha that you may overturn a plate over a lamp, etc. And you can look there for more details. Um, the Mishnah. So there are various rabbinic prohibitions and things to do on Shabbos or on Yom Tov. Um, and sometimes it's immediately clear that it should be they, they, they prohibited. Some of them, there's some aspect of uh, good deed aspect to it, uh, but it's still voluntary. So, But even so, um, there's a rabbinic enactment on it. And that's what we call here Misha Vashos. And then we have um, the Shem Mitzvah, that there seems to be a Mitzvah element to it, but even so, uh, the Rabban made some kind of uh, decree not to do it. Um, at least this is one way of parsing the mission, and this is the way that I'm doing it here. So, Kol Shechem in Alav Mishim Shibos, Mishim Mishos, Mishim Mitzvah, Mishim Bas, Hayav Bin Alav, Biyam Tev. Anything which they obligate because of the Shibos, because of the Shibos, because of the Mitzvah, on Shabbos, uh, they're liable on it uh, for Yom Tev as well. Bailing any mission shvus, and these are the ones which are called shvus. Lo olim beilat, you can't climb a tree. Lo rafin al gabe behema, you can't ride an animal. Lo shat al pnei amayim, you can't swim on the surface of the water. The lo masakin, the lo mekapshin, the lo merakin, nor may you uh, clap or uh, slap thighs or dance, which is that's one way of uh, translating it. And I'm going with that here. Uh, the yelim mishum shvus, and these are the ones which are prohibited in the Arab world shvus. Low Dunin, you can't uh, you can't judge of the Kajin, you can't betroth the woman. Below Kholtin, you can't perform Khalitza with the shoe. Below the Abman and you can't do this love written marriage, which is the alternative to Khalitza. Elin and Hindishum Mitzvah. And these are the ones which are Mitzvah, but there's still a Renic Fiat. Low Makadishim, you can't make something hectish. Below Maryashim, you can't do some kind of assessment value. You don't make the value of some item. Below Mashriman, you can't make some declare something Khairim, which is also being the uh, donated to Hekdish. The law will not be in Trumas and Masarat. And you can't uh, separate off Trumas and Masarat. And uh, Arbor and Gerson, the Vishnu and the Gemara has Truma and Masar instead of the plural, but there's no difference. Kol Eil would be Yom Tov Amru. Um, all of these things were actually said by Yom Tov. Kol Vachomru and Vishabbos and all the more so on Shabbos. The Ingve and Yom Tov with Shabbos, El Ochel Nefesh Bovat. There's no, no difference between Shabbos and Yom Tov except through this Ochel Nefesh thing Things done for the needs of food. Um, now on to the Gemara. The Gemara says, "Lo olim and it explains, "Zera shemal yitzlof she left to to dash something." Below Rav Shemal Gabi Beheim, he can't write an animal. Zera shema yachtof zmora landing galus. He cut off a branch in order to direct it. Below Shatan al pnei amayim, he can't swim on the surface of the water. Zera shema yachtof chavis shel shayatim. Let me make a tube of swimmers. Uh, which is a kind of flotation device. The one with Sakin, the one with Rakin, the one with Tapsin. Uh, you can't, uh, well, the way we translate it up to now is you can't clap, you can't dance, you can't clap sides. They were saying he's talking clear here. Uh, left he, uh, fix a musical instrument. 
Um, and now uh, the riff makes an interesting Yerushalmi here. He's, uh, he's a look in Yerushalmi data 20b, uh, where on the same Mishnah, the Lom Nisafkin, a Sipok Habane Hamasa. This is a Sipok clapping is what comes from his anger, like we say in the precious Balak. Vaisharach Balak El Dulam, Vaisbok Al Kapav. And he, uh, and, uh, uh, that he spoke as Kabbalah, um, and Baal's finger was kindled against the one, and he smote his hands together. Kayoer Balak el Dolam, and Baal said to Dolam, Lakov, uh, Levi Karasicha, I called you to curse my enemies. Vihine, Berachta Varech, Varech, Zesha, a feminine you, and Panem, you blessed them these three times. So it's, uh, it's, the context is that he was angry and he clapped his hands in anger. Um, so, that seems to be the definition of Sipok. The one with Tapchen, Tipuach Shulit, I know this is a willful clapping, maybe you would do that for the purpose of an anger, but uh, maybe for music. Um, that's at least the implication here that it's not clapping guys, but it's another form of clapping. Rabbi Yana Bechavraya, continuing to be Mishandi, Rabbi Yana and the sages had a dispute. Chavraya Amran, they said, Bein hachi to bein hachi asler. Whether like this or like this, whether on the front of the hands or the, ba- or the back of the hands when you clap, it is forbidden. Rabbi Yonah Amar, acharei de hamshari, on the back of the hands is permitted. The havei Amar, because he said, is sabaya. There are uh, elders beyond me. The havei mitatz and acharei de hamshabasa. And basically, in our days, there were elders who clapped on the backs of their hands on shopping. Behilula um, uh, Rabbi Shimon Rabbi. This is actually uh, right to the same page in the Gemara in the wedding feast. Rabbi Shimon, the son of Rabbi, have a mitapsa achorei yedehon b'shabasa. They would clap on the back of their hands on, uh, on uh, and it was a Shabbos. And since this was a simcha, uh, so uh, that's why they were clapping. So of Rabbi Meir b'shamat olehon. Uh, Rabbi Meir was ta- passed by and he heard their sounds. Amr was saying of Hutra Shabbos, and he said, sarcastically, uh, the sages have permitted Shabbos. Shama Rabbi Kale, and so uh, Rabbi, who was the father of Rabbi Shimon, um, heard his voice, Amar, me the Zesh Shabbat will the same as the same. Who's coming to rule over us in our own house? Shama Rabbi Meir Kale to Rabbi. Uh, so Rabbi Meir heard this criticism, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, the voice of Rabbi, Barak, and he fled. Naskun Kariya Basrei, Masrei, and the servants uh, of Rabbi uh, chased uh, after him. They began after him to, uh, I guess, bring him back. Asrach Rucha took on the Al Kabbalah Rabbi Meir. So he was wearing this suit, or he was wearing this uh, headgear, and uh, the wind blew the, it from the back of his neck. Odeh uh, Rabbi Min Kabda, Rabbi was looking from his window. The Chama Kabbalei Rabbi Meir Machore, and he saw the back of Rabbi Meir's neck from behind him. Am Rabbi and Rabbi said, "Lo Zachisu Torah, I didn't marry Torah. Ella al the Chamech Kabbalei Rabbi Meir Menachore, except for the fact that I saw uh, the back of the neck of Rabbi Meir from behind him." 